What's up guys, it is Max, and today I'm gonna show you how to brine a turkey. I have a 16 pound turkey that I will be brining. Excuse all that background noise, you know kids are always at my house, it's a lot, a lot is always going on. So for your ingredients to brine your turkey, you're gonna need vegetable broth, bay leaves, kosher salt, make sure you have kosher salt, kosher, and not regular table salt peppercorns, we have some allspice berries. I have some fresh rosemary. Oh, and you also need um, brown sugar, which I do not have out. Need a half a cup of brown sugar. Got some brown sugar. And what you're gonna do is put all of this in a pot. I'm gonna boil it for about four minutes and then you will pour it over your turkey. Remember, and when you do your brown, you have to let it cool first. You do, do not pour hot liquids on a raw turkey. So let's start by coming over here and combining all of our ingredients. And you can use this for any time you're going to make a turkey. Make sure the turkey real juicy and infuses the flavors. Okay guys, let's start by adding our vegetable broth. Now I'm just using two, um, what are these? Two 32 ounces. You need about a gallon of brine and you can just add water. After I make this brine and it cools down, I add it to like some ice water to finish it off to make a gallon. I want to saw a cool part of the turkey. So this is 232 ounces of vegetable broth. Then we have our kosher salt. See it's coarse and it's just bigger than regular salt. So we have our cup of kosher salt. Then I need a half a cup of some brown sugar. So then I got a half a cup of brown sugar. Put that in there. We are gonna use a tablespoon of peppercorns. Get those. We got my peppercorns in there. And then we're gonna use a half a tablespoon of your allspice berries. A lot of you probably already have allspice, but it's it's probably just not the whole allspice. It's probably the um the one that's already fine. Um, fine. I was looking to see if I had something to show you guys, but I don't see it right now. Oh, here it is. See, here's the regular um, allspice, but it's already ground up. So let's use a half a half a tablespoon of those. And then we got some bay leaves. I think I'm gonna do like four to five bay leaves. Well, let's crunch it up. There we go, three for five. And then we have our rosemary. Now I'm sure you probably can put the whole thing in there, but I'm gonna um, I'm take it off. Just go down your stem and get your leaves off like so. Get those leaves off. Let me get my other one. Now some other things that you could add in your brine is oranges. And I don't have any. Um, you can also put, some people put cloves of garlic in theirs. But I'm gonna actually, when I like, after I brine my turkey and tomorrow when I'm gonna cook it and season it up, I'm gonna use some garlic. So that's why I'm not using um, any garlic in my brine. 
So now we need to stir this up, guys. We're gonna let this come to a boil. Can you see that? You gonna let this come to a boil. I'm gonna let it boil for like five minutes. You want your salt and sugar, everything to dissolve. And all those flavors to come out. So let's let this boil for about five minutes. Okay, our brine has been boiling about five minutes. Now I'm gonna turn this off. Let this cool and put it in the um, pitcher, let it cool. Add some ice water if I needed to get up to a gallon. And then when your brine is cooled, that's when you will add it to your turkey bag. So put it in your, um, you know, I use the turkey bags. Let me show you what I use so you guys know what to get. The turkey bags right here that you use for the oven when you cook a turkey. Put your turkey in the turkey bag. Add your brine when it is cooled, when it's cold. And you can brine your turkey for 10 to 24 hours overnight. Take it out the next morning. Let it dry off. Add whatever seasonings you want, your turkey rub or whatever. Then you cook your turkey in the oven, smoke it on the grill. And that's all to it, guys. Very, very, very simple. Very simple to make a turkey run. That's all you have to do. Catch me on the next video. And I am out. Thank you, guys.